Welcome to C programming lecture. Today we are going to learn about the basic structure of C programming. In C programming is a very important language. It is a procedural oriented programming language. In this, how to write down the simple C program and how what are the uh, different different meanings of a different different line in C program we are going to learn. Okay, so we are going to start line by line. First, we will start with the first line. It is called as a header file hash include stdio.h so this is the header file which is required to include in your c program to get the inbuilt functions or to use the inbuilt function in your c program so hash include stdio.h is a header file which is included in this c program hash is a token operator this is a token operator. This is also called as a preprocessor, which is useful to start your C program. Again, I am repeating, it is called as a token operator. Include is a keyword. Include is a keyword which is useful to include the header file in your C program. Okay. Now, stdio.h is a header file which is already ready uh, available into the uh, library of C programming. stdio.h stand for standard input output header file okay so whatever standard input output functions are there inbuilt functions are there we are going to use from this header file another header file normally which we use that is called as a hash include conio.h again in this this conio.h header file is useful for console application Conio stand for console input output. Whatever output we are going to see, there it will be appear normally on a black window. That window is called as a console. And for that, whatever functionality is required, it will be available through this header file that is called as a console input output header file. Okay. After that, there will be a void main function. Or main function we have to write. So main function is important. Void means it is not returning any value. It is returning a null value. It means it, means it is not returning any value. So that's why we mention the void main. Now in this simple C program, we want to print the message hello world. Okay. So for that in C programming, if you want to print anything on the console or a screen, there is a function called as a printf. For if, for if you want to print anything, you have to use the printf function. So for that, we have to write down the printf. All the things are in small case. Printf, the syntax is bracket. And whatever you want to print, whatever you want to print as it is, you have to put it into double quotes. So I am putting here double quote. Hello. What? And double quote complete, bracket complete, and we have to put the semicolon. So semicolon is for to terminate the sentence. Okay, so semicolon is useful for the to terminate the sentence. After that, if you want to clear the screen, if you want to clear the screen uh, while you are running twice the same program previous output you want to clear from the screen so that for that there is a readymade function available in C programming language that function is called as a clear screen CLR SCR so that we have we are going to write before the printf statement CLR SCR so syntax is CLR SCR opening bracket closing bracket and then again terminate the sentence with a semicolon okay once you done with this you have to close the main function this is the opening of main function. This is the closing of main function. Once you prepare this program, once you written this program, you have, now you have to save this program with particular name. I will save this program with a name. It's up to you what your name you want to use, but you, we are going to use your my first C program. Dot, the extension of C program is always dot C. If you are using CPP, C++, then you can use C++, but for C program, we are, we are going to use the extension .c, okay? Once 
you if you, when you want to save this program you have to save this my first c program dot c in turbo c c bin folder okay after that you have to go and click on the options available there you can go and click on the compile button once you compile that if there is a no errors it will show you enter then you will come back to the uh, main screen there you will get another button run then you can run this program and you will easily see the message hello world which is printed on the screen so always remember in c program the basic structure is very easy first you start with the header files whatever header files you want to use in your program you have to mention in the initial para of the program okay it may be studio.h ponyo.h mat.h like that there are n number of header files are available as per your requirement you can include or you can use that header file in your c program after that you have to write down the main function okay we have written here void because this function is not going to return anything in this program okay after that we use the clear screen function which is again a inbuilt function in a c programming okay so with the help of that c clear screen function we are going to clear the screen after that we have used the printf statement which is useful to print the any sentence on the screen after that we have closed the main function and then we save that c program in bin folder and then we first compile the program after com successfully compilation we run the program so this is the this is all about the basic structure of c programming in further lectures we'll see how to write uh, how to write the uh, advanced programs in a c programming language thank you